Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain about the Zynet D configuration for SSH service in the Ubuntu VirtualBox system. Before getting into the actual steps, let us try to understand the basics of Zynet D. Zynet D is actually called as a super server which actually uh, does the job of arbitrating the network services that are available in the Linux system. Previously, all these network services like FTP, SSH and any other services normally would be available or exposed to the clients that are requesting from the internet and they are quite vulnerable. So they have brought in this concept of Zynet-D wherein the Zynet-D server actually registers all these uh, network services that are available in the Linux service, Linux system and then arbitrates the requests that are coming from the client and then pass it on to the appropriate service and then uh, makes the uh, uh, service seamlessly. Once the service is completed, it closes the connection and so it avoids the unnecessary CPU uh, uh, effort as well as the uh, security concerns also getting addressed. So that's the purpose of the Zynet D. Let's get into the steps now. The first step is going to be installing the Zynet D server. It does not come by default in the distribution. Uh, before updating the Zynet D server, just make sure that you have the latest uh, uh, things uh, from the internet sudo apt get update does that for you and then second command is going to be sudo apt get install zynet d which will actually install the zynet d server uh, onto your system so uh, in my case actually i have done both of these in my system so i don't need to reinstall it again so uh, i'll show that is installed or not so system ctl status it'll tell if the sign and service is running or not now it is actually running so uh, then next step is going to be making the appropriate configurations so there are two configuration files that needs to be configured uh, in order to uh, make the Zynet D server functional. So one is the global configuration file that is present in the slash etc slash Zynet dot uh, So that's a file which is present in the slash etc directory. So let's uh, look into that and then uh, see the configuration that are there. All of this configuration would need sudo permission. So make sure that you have this sudo given in print of uh, uh, every command before editing okay so this is the default configuration uh, for a, for the Zynet D server as such so uh, basically if you see uh, all these parameters I'll explain all of these parameters instances means actually it can take up to 60 instances of uh, connections uh, from every any network services so it could be FTP or it could be telnet or anything all put together it can take up to 60 and all the logs where it should log all the informations or the log information so that has uh, what I have uh, given is syslog and auto in the second which means actually all all of these things should get uh, logged into the auth the log location under slash pair and slash log okay we'll uh, see the once that is uh, at the end so uh, during the time of success i want the log information to have the host ip of the host ip ip of the host and the pid of the uh, service and during the time of log failure uh, during the time of failure i want the log to uh, log only the host ip and that's the log of failure so cps means connections per second i have configured 25 then uh, beyond 30 cannot take uh, uh, connections that much connection uh, per second so that's what I've configured uh, and uh, beyond that or uh, every uh, server specific service specific configurations are present in 
this directory slash etc slash sinhd.d that's going to be our next step so we have to queue this line include directory slash etc sinhd.d so that's what is the, the this step is all about so let's see what is the next step is so the next step is going to be making the service specific configuration uh, under the uh, uh, directory slash etc and slash sinhd.d for every service that we want to register we have to create a file under this directory and in our case it's going to be ssh is the service that i want to register with the sanity so and create a file called ssh so uh, this uh, file under the slash etc slash sanity.d i have already created it so let's take a quick look into this file that i have created So this is a, a SSH, uh, which is the SSH service specific file. The first parameter is the disable is equal to no, which means it is actually enabled or it is uh, it is the uh, configuration to register the SSH service with the Zynetry. And the next one is socket type, which is stream and protocol is TCP, since it's a TCP protocol. Port number is 22 wait is equal to no which means it does not need to wait for uh, connection after connection all connections can be uh, uh, serviced at the same time and then user is equal to root server binary is located in us star slash user slash user has been and slash ssd and server augs and giving this minus side so that's about this configuration what's the next step will is actually we'll have to once we have now completed all the configurations that are required for sanity uh, to be uh, registered with the ssh so now we have to stop the ssh service in case if it is running why we need to do that because we have already registered the ssh service with the sanity and whatever ssh requests that are coming from the clients will have to get go through sanity from now on so i don't want to have the SSH service completely exposed to the clients uh, outside so I have to stop it so the way to stop is actually using the command sudo system ctl stop SSH so uh, we have to give this command sudo system ctl SSH so which will actually stop the SSH service we want to see if it is really stopped give this command status and you can see uh, it is inactive so it is not uh, active at the moment and once that is done so we have to go to the next step which is start the Zynity service so once we start the Zynity service uh, so it will actually take into consideration all the configuration files that we have con given now which is the zynity.com and the ssh file which is present under slash etc and slash slash etc slash zynity.t these two configuration files it will take into consideration and it brings up the zynity server let's uh, bring up this server now There we can see the Linux Zynity stop.ssh 
with the PID 6881 from 107.0.0.1 so that's the uh, from that IP address this SSH uh, request had come so I will try one more SSH from my windows using the port key SSH request coming from 10.0.2.2 so, uh, so that means sure that the connection that is established in the SSH is through Zanetti. Thanks for watching. That's all guys. Thank you.